Good afternoon, it is uh, Thursday the 27th of June, uh, about half past 11ish, 25 to 12. Um, it is a weekday and I'm not working. And I am not working for one reason and one reason only. Um, and that reason is because I'm 30 today. <laughs> that is how committed to YouTube I am. I'm videoing on my 30th birthday. Nothing to do with the fact that I haven't packed my car for tomorrow. Nothing at all. Oh, that's what you wanted to say hi. Here you go. Say hi. Good boy. Um. Yeah. So, videoing on my birthday. All the windows are open because it's hot and the doors are banging. So we've put shoes in the doors. Um. I'm about to pack a bag. So I've been saying for ages I want to buy myself a new bag. My current bag situation is. Uh, well, I'll turn the camera around in a second and show you. But my current bag situation is a bag I've had since I was a teenager. So 13, 14 years old. And I've kept saying on my birthday this year, sure, I want a new bag. Um, <laughs> and then last week I did a car boot and my friend said, oh, can I put some stuff in your car for the car boot? I said, sure. Pick the stuff up and she had a purple bag, a purple holder. And I said, can I have that? And she was just like, yeah, sure. I was just going to chuck it away. And I was like, what? I've been looking for a holder for ages and not find the right one. I, I just wanted one that I know I wanted. Archie's stealing my boots. Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around now and show you that I've got a new bag and I'm quite happy because it's purple. So this is the current... Okay, that's not the current situation, but Archie is trying to put my boots on. <laughs> this is the current bag situation. It's old, tired, ripped in several places. And I have had it since I was about 13. You can just see how wrecked it is, in, in better words. Anyway, this new one is a slightly darker purple. So it's not my favourite colour. This isn't my favourite either, but I still love it. Um, it's got an extension pocket so it can be made bigger. I mean, it's bigger than my bag anyway. You can clearly see that. Um, and then it's got an end pocket, um, which I'm really pleased with because Archie's also been given one because she was getting rid of two bags. So there is a black one down there for Archie instead of his previous grey one. Um, so that's two bags and I'm now going to switch my bag into the new one and hopefully fit all my dresses my kit in so I don't have to keep unpacking and repacking every weekend. Archie's really trying to put my shoes on. <laughs> and that's it. It's 10 minutes and it's done. There's This is bits to go in the bin that I've decided I don't, don't want. Look how gross this was. An old and torn. Anyway, definitely needed a new bag. Here it is. I have used the extension parts because I've put my cloak in there. Now, normally, I don't put my cloak in at all, and I carry that loosely. But why not? It's so it's just out of the way then. So my cloak's in this far end section here with a few other bits. My toilet paper I've managed to stuff in the top. And then I've got personal essentials in the end here. And I've still got room in this top bit. I'm shocked. Anyway, um, yeah, my bag's packed ready for the weekend. Good afternoon, half past three. Still my birthday. Um, went for lunch with my mum. I went to the garden centre because it's got a craft shop inside, it's got the works, so ate in there and then bought some craft stuff. And now I'm going to load the car up, so I'm going to video doing that because I still haven't done it this week. <laughs> I have just realised though, by the time this video gets published, it will probably be like the end of August, September time, maybe a bit further along. So you're all going to be like, happy birthday! It's past, you don't need to comment happy birthday on the bottom of this video. <laughs> The long pause because I was looking at the crap in the background before I sat down. Um, and actually it's not crap, but I've just put my coat on top of Archie's little kitchen. The washing basket's got clean washing in that I've just taken off the line, so that's ready to go upstairs tonight. And then that bag down there is actually staying with me tomorrow. So there's no crap in the hallway, which I was concerned about. Um, I'm really tired now. Um, it's quarter past ten. Just gone. Um, still my birthday. <laughs> Um, we've just been shopping this evening, went for some food, um, went to Molto, Molto Bene, which is basically like a, a, used to be a Fat Tony's franchise, I believe, and then it changed to Molto Bene, and it's delicious. It's basically the same as Fat Tony's, but I don't know if it's this, if it's better, I haven't had a Fat Tony's in months, so I couldn't tell you, 
if it's better. But it was, oh, this light's annoying me. There we go. It was absolutely delicious to the point that uh, I'm extremely bloated and full up now. And it's made me very tired and lethargic. And you can see my eyes. Look at these bags. Just ignore this stupid bulbous on my ball ball. It'll disappear eventually. Um, anyway, the point in this video was to say that earlier on this evening we went shopping. I made Ryan go with me because it was my birthday. And we went to go and get square sausages first. So we went to Iceland Food Warehouse. Because at the last event, um, I'm sure I said many times on the previous videos, we didn't. I didn't take square sausages. Um, just didn't. This time I thought I'd do because my brother and my dad are coming. Um, so they'll want square sausages for breakfast as well. So I went to the food warehouse, I went in there and there was two grubby packets open in the bottom of the freezer, freezer burned. And there was like, I don't know if it was sausages missing, but bits missing off of it and completely freezer burned packets and they were open. So I wasn't buying them. So I thought, nah, stuff you then, that's clearly a sign not to buy sausages this weekend. So I didn't. So I went out of Iceland empty handed and then I went into... What's the shop next door to Food Warehouse? Oh, Hobbycraft. And then I went into Hobbycraft and I bought Archie some crowns to take away with me this weekend. So you can do some stuff and drawing. Um, yeah. That's basically it. And now I'm home. So I've just bought the shopping in out of the car. Obviously got the bag ready for tomorrow. That's why it's down there. I can't get the call box ready, obviously, until tomorrow. Um, Archie is absolutely flat out asleep. Not that any of you really care, but look how cute that kid is. His legs are even like flo frog, frog splashed. Oh dear, my English, because I'm tired. His legs are even frog splashed. Like, he's so tired. We have only just got home. To be fair, he's been at a friend's while we've been out this evening. Um, so thank you to Brian and Joe for looking after Archie this evening for us. But yeah, I'm going to stop videoing and I'm having a lying for the first time tomorrow in eight weeks. And when I mean a lying, it's probably going to be like nine o'clock, but that's still good enough. So, hopefully leaving here at half past 11 tomorrow. I've done the car, I've done the packing and all that. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Hello, nearly three o'clock and I've just got to block some uh, people already here in the background. I'm not gonna talk a lot. I'm just gonna start setting up because it's got a lot later. I left an hour and a half later than I wanted to. It's taken a bit longer to get here because <laughs> it's taken a lot longer to get here um, because there was some traffic on the top of the road. That's it, we're here. Hello, five o'clock, just gone. Um, tents are all set up, didn't manage to video setting up. It was all a little bit of a rush to be honest, there he is. So, didn't set it up as I arrived late, so I wanted to hurry up and set it all up. All up now, food's cooking on the back of the car and I'll video that in a second, I'll video the street. It's nice and warm outside um, and I'll show you the tent set up as well. Right, so tent set up, bed, obviously my mirror, Archie's bed, and I've brought my rug again, very nice. And then out into the street. Oh look, Martin's carrying a box. Oh
uh, 20 to 7, just before it's like 18.37, so near enough 20 to 7. Um, I've just parked the car, I'm going to walk back up to the camp now, I'm just going to do a quick turnaround of the camp from here, because we're down in a ditch, so our camp could have gone all the way down here. We started on the ridge of the slope, so we're not all sloped in our tents. Um, some of them are, some of them aren't, it's iffy here and there, but massive amount of space, so I'm just going to turn the camera around now so you can see that. Oh, oh my goodness, vision, right, um, as I explained, it's very large. Uh, you can't really see the slope. I'll show it from the top, but I've got to walk up here now, so I'm going to be out of breath. Confederate camp, you can see just on the brow over there, and then Union camp is straight in front, going from here um, all the way across to here. There's our back of our officer's tent line. So I'm just going to walk to the top of the hill now. Um, you can't really see this. Oh, you might be able to see the slope on the camera. I'm not sure, but anyway, let's go to the top and uh, have a quick look around the camp. 25 to 9. I've got my drink in hand and it's sunny, the sun is setting just behind us. Um, quite a lot of us here, actually. This is our street. It's a very full street. We've just had some people turn out, which is great. We've got our own street. We've got our own uh, party tent, mess tent to keep us warm later if it's cold. The wind is coming across, so it is a bit chilly. But otherwise, it's a massive site. We've already had a walk around. I'll... I don't know if I'll get a lot of footage this weekend because um, I've got Archie with me and we've got Lily, my brother's little girl, so I don't know how much footage I will or will not get, but I will try and get some footage of walking around. There's Martin, going to say hello as he walks past. Hello. <laughs>